So for those of you who have been watching us for quite some time, you might be wondering where we are. Welcome to Turkey! We've been in Turkey, we've been in Istanbul actually for a little over a week now and we did not expect to be here in Turkey, in Istanbul on this trip. Yeah, the seagulls agree with that. <laughs> Uh, so literally we just booked Turkey about four days before we arrived. We had some travel changes and plans, I'm not going to get into all that, but we do have some exciting plans for Turkey in the coming months that we're going to fill you in on. Stay tuned and watch the end of this video to find out. And this video will just fill you in a little bit of what we've been up to starting with food. We're a little bit hungry, so let's go! You can never really go wrong in Lukantati spots. This reminds us of a steam table and a grandma cooking. They're everywhere in Istanbul. This one is our favorite since this is the first place we ate at fresh from the airport when we arrived here in Istanbul. What I like about this spot is called Gurman and they have a whole bunch of different dishes. We just we like to pick out a lot of vegetables and uh, they even have meats grilling fresh in the front. So we also got some kofta, the grilled Turkish meatballs. But what's nice is that if you like to eat a little lighter and you want to eat some of these vegetables or some non-meat, you know Turkey's a lot of meat and a lot of bread. I love it, but you gotta switch it up sometimes. You can get a lot of the more of the lighter dishes here. So if you're vegetarian, it's like the spot for you too. You can get some lentils, chickpeas, beans here. This looks like egg with some minced meat and tomato. This food is just very comforting stuff. Like Jumi said, it's like eating grandmother's cooking. I love it. It's just all made one way. And you just pick it out. It's very affordable. You can get a whole spread like this for about 60 lira, which is a great value. Each plate can run you. Some of the vegetable plates are a little cheaper. And then you have this beautiful off the fresh off the grill. Mm. I just love that smoky flavor. Very juicy. There's nice red sauce with it too. Mm. Nice herbal flavor in that red sauce. This is just a delicious meal. You can't go wrong in Lokantasa. Our, maybe our favorite place to eat in Istanbul overall. You can eat this every single day. They rotate the dishes as well. part of the episode which is made possible by you are you buy us a coffee well in this case it's not really a coffee it's a juice shop thanks to you down here below for making this even more possible now help us support more local shops like this one by buying us a coffee and more thank you I just love how we sit here in uh, like mid-afternoon. It's most sometimes after we eat, we drink our chai and our orange juice and just people watching. So one of the biggest pastimes here in Turkey is drinking chai, the Turkish tea. You see everybody's doing it throughout the city multiple times a day. I'm not even the biggest tea drinker myself, but I'm starting to become one just for this very reason. And I love how they serve it in this really cool glass. It's actually really hot on your fingers, but 
so nice and strong. And you can add sugar if you like, the sugar cubes on the side, but I like it just like this, straight up tea, so nice and strong. It's perfect after a big meal like we just had to kind of help digest. And we also love about this spot is the freshly made juice. Get this freshly squeezed orange juice. Incredibly refreshing, get that nice jolt of vitamin C that you need, especially during these times. But we just love this place. You got these low wooden tables, low wooden stools, and you can just people watch on a block right here. Tons of locals here, underneath the tree, very shady. Love it. Made a quick stop. If you're wondering why we made a quick stop at this pet store right here, <laughs> you'll see why later. Really love the street out here in Katakui. And you'll find plenty of these while walking around Kadikuli. Balik is fish, ekmek is bread. And you see these shops all over Istanbul, especially by the waterfront on the European side, but this spot is just a little low-key shop in the corner here in Kadakui, right by the market. And what makes this one special, they make their own bread. This is not just the usual crusty, kind of dry bread you might see. This one is very freshly made. I love this kind of bread. <laughs> Okay, so the fish they use here is mackerel. They put it on the flat top, it gets nice, a little bit oily. And they put it with very simple with some lettuce, onion, cabbage. Let's take a bite. What I like about the simplicity of the sandwich, you can really taste the fish. Get that nice, oily kind of mackerel flavor in here. And the bread itself is very light. It's not really too fluffy, it's a little bit of chew to it too. It's a really nice type of bread. It's just an excellent sandwich. And for 10 lira, we, we come here almost every single day for this. This right here is the, called the bomba. And what's in the bomba that gives it, makes it green is parsley, there's lemon, there's green apple, and there's ginger. Mm. It's got it all, it's tangy, spicy from that ginger. I never have tasted parsley in a juice before. I have to say it's incredible. I never would expect it to be this good, and it is. Photo? No, no. Photo? 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 Video? Video, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, just like that, we are now having carrot juice. Courtesy of these awesome guys here at the juice bar. Really cool guys. His name is John <laughs> Ahmed and Shabbat. I'm not sure, but it's... Chifahan, we're gonna put a little photo of it. We're gonna put it in the description where it is too. It's right by the main entrance to the market here in Katakui. Half the comfort of the juice is there, delicious, They're making them fresh. Yeah, and fun guys. <laughs> we literally see the process, but... Um, I don't even like carrot juice, but this one, it's good. It's real carrot, literally. I get my vitamins all day long today. This is great. Yeah, they're so nice. <laughs> A 
Up next, we got one of my favorite Turkish dishes anywhere. It is lamajun. It's this beautiful, freshly made, look how thin that is. It's topped off with minced lamb, spices, parsley, all that good stuff. And it's thrown into a wood-fired oven. guys are pros here. They're doing their thing. Just look how thin, look how perfectly baked that is. Super thin. Crack it, hear that snap. Let's take a bite first before we add in anything to it. That is just perfection. It's nice and crunchy, very light. You could really eat about three of these without any problem. What we gotta do, gotta squeeze some lemon, add some parsley, just like that. Mm. That parsley just gives it such a nice refreshing kick. That lemon cuts through the richness of the meat a little bit, gives a tangy flavor. This is really one of the best lamajun I've ever had in my life. I love it. And you gotta come here in Halil in Kadukui Market. Really popular institution here. You gotta come. This video is not complete without this next stop. So we're here at an OG Turkish coffee shop called Fazil Bates. Dates back to 1923. They actually roast and brew their own coffee. And what makes Turkish coffee special is that it's unfiltered. They use a chesve to basically brew the coffee. It goes up to the top and they pour it into the cup and it leaves this beautiful foam on top. And what's cool about this shop too is that they don't have just regular Turkish coffee as well. They actually have different varieties. We got it with cardamom. Cardamom is one of our favorite spices in the world. It just is magical coffee. So you want to do is let this just settle a little bit so the, all the coffee grinds go to the bottom. Wow, wow, it's just strong. This is strong cardamom coffee. Turkish coffee is so rich, not as heavy on the caffeine, but then it blends in with that cardamom. And this is freshly muddled cardamom. There's actual cardamom pieces in the bottom of this. It is a perfect combination. You get it with no sugar, you can really taste the flavor of that coffee. They serve it to you with water and Turkish delight. Mm. I tell you, don't drink that last part. It gets so muddy and um, cardamom, real cardamom, definitely. This next spot that we're about to eat at is one of our favorite places to eat at here at Kadikoi. It's so cool when you come in, going in inside the restaurant. Right at the front, you can see the women making the dough for the gozleme. Yes, gozleme, the first time I had it, I had it spinach, I had it customized, and we loved it so much that we keep coming back ever since. And yeah, so we'll show you what we have. Evi is really in more of the hip side here in, in Karakui. And the gozleme is the flatbread and it could be filled with anything you want. You can actually customize the gozleme however you like. It's very thin dough. We actually got it very simple just with spinach inside because we got it a really special way we didn't even know existed before it came to the shop. It's actually covered in this incredible looking garlic yogurt sauce with tomato and it looks like there's dried mint on top. Usually you see that on top of manta, but on top of gozleme is really something special. I like that simple spinach inside, earthy, clean, because you get that nice tangy yogurt on the outside, that little garlicky kick, and the refreshing flavor from that dried mint is beautiful. This is really grandma cooking, literally. 
because there's two, it's like grandmothers here making it, like making the dough fresh, it's cooking nonstop on this flat top right when you walk in the door. It's a really special place. Remember how I mentioned before I was getting hooked on chai? Here's more. You never run out of chai. Never. alcoholic beverages this too we're gonna go somewhere and enjoy these two but quick note on this place this is one of our favorite well actually our favorite Medidoma we love it so much that one time it was raining and um, we just keep eating because we didn't mind the rain because this is that good and it is called Moda Media Si Moda Media Si Moda Si but it is right at the um, busiest part of Harikun. Right, let's enjoy this alcoholic beverage and Migidoma by the water. Falling in love with Katakui and the Asian side of Istanbul. It's so laid back, very local. Everyone even chilling here at the park. People playing music, you have families, young people, every all ages here. Lots of cute cats, and we're feeding the cats. We actually bought cat food to feed them. This is the Midya Doma. Midya is muscle in Turkish, and Doma is stuffed with the rice. So these are mussels. Crack one open for you. So you see, they take the mussel and they stuff it with this mix of rice and put it back into the shell. Wow, these are excellent. We've got a spicy version of these. So it's got that rice, some bay leaf in there, some good spicy chili kick in there. And the mussels are very fresh too. I like that you can still, still a good amount of muscle in here even though there's rice as well. This is really, it's a classic Istanbul street food. You find it all over in the streets. But we like this one shop here in Katakui, Moda. Check them out. Bring it to the water like we did. It's the way to go. Pair it with some wine. This part of the episode is where we're going to tell you our turkey travel plans. So roughly we are going to do a tour around Turkey. The original plan fell through and we're here in Turkey and we are actually so happy to be here. Fortunately happy to be here. <laughs> yeah it was a great turn of events that brought us here. We're grateful that we are here and really excited. I've been here once for a few days 10 years ago and it is my first time. I'm gonna try to do, we have some rough ideas, we're not gonna give it all away, but we really wanna see a lot of the country. You know, obviously we can't see all of it, Turkey is huge, but we wanna do kind of some sort of a loop. We definitely wanna hit up the southern coast in the next few months, like Antalya right here, where this wine is from. The Aegean coast, Mediterranean coast, somewhere in the east perhaps. Uh, you, just stay tuned, we're gonna have some really cool adventures. Please give us any suggestions of where you think we should go in Turkey, especially during this time of year, summer, between August and October. Uh, that's our, hopefully our plan, fingers crossed, hopefully everything goes well. 
Uh, we're food lovers. We have some food destinations in mind, but please let us know of any others. And as you can see in this video already, how much we love food. Just travel with us around Turkey as much as possible. Travel and eat. Travel and eat.